Hello, and welcome to part 3 of Born to Rock's casual, semi-blind playthrough of The Outer Worlds. In the last episode, we completed the first planet, and we are now ready to go into outer space and find a brand new world. We got a couple of new companions, some brand new folks traveling with us. We've gotten a few things done. I just have to do a couple of things to clear up just everything I need to do on this planet right before we go on to the next one. Just a couple of things. Born to Rock is geared and ready. He's ready to rock, as you can see. He's ready for it, ready for the rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to shoot and kill. And be the savage that he was born to be. Let's go ahead and get out here. We will shoot down any who oppose us. You see, you see. Let's go ahead and get our map up. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to... I do believe this is... Okay, landing pad. Let's go there. We have to clear out the uh, the last quest we had with the uh, conspiracy guy that's kind of obsessed about robots taking over the world, basically. The old conspiracist. And you see, guys, Born to Rock may have the dumb option, but I feel like his real reason for saying dumb things is not to be dumb, but to actually be clever just not as easily able to tell that he is indeed being clever never seen the veil lit up like this before go on I'm Ludwig Miller associate security officer for transportation officially unofficially strictly between you and me I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Okay, man, I'll let you be, bro. Make no mistake, Born to Rock is a savage. He is very savagistic. It wouldn't take much for him to decide that Bavardi was not only a lost cause, but a traitor. For he has deeper, more meaningful backgrounds than all these fellow citizens let's go ahead and go to journal what must we do now okay we gotta retrieve the logic module let's go ahead and go to map this should be the end of it yeah just because we've already killed every single thing at the geothermal plant so we just basically got to retrieve the logic module and that side quest will be completed. <laughs> the Monty Pillar examined. Well, we got some, uh, some alienic uh, caterpillars up in here, y'all. Some rather spooky, spooky things. All right, as you can see, everything is dead in here. We've done looted it all, killed everything. We didn't even make them fight each other. We just literally murdered everything. That looks like we got some more things. Must not have seen that. Stir range, y'all. Stir range. All right, let's go ahead and go up in here. I do believe we still do not have the correct amount of mag picks to uh, break into that room, which is very annoying, but I don't think there's not much I can do about it. Alright, 
the geothermal plant from the planet to your living room well well looks like we have some very clean energy on that planet see we still must get into this room and I still cannot figure out how in the world I can do it of course there may be a, another option that we could complete it with I'm not really sure Okay, I don't think I've been in here before. No, I haven't. No reason to open that. We just need another freaking mag pick, man. Some more drugs. Ooh, that looks good. Let's see. Nothing. I hear some kind of creature. Although I don't see the creature. Let's see. There must be some way up here. I just I don't think I figured it out yet. Okay, it's going down. Oh, up. Up, baby, up. Is that locked? It's freaking barred, man. Auto mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to target intruders. Any attempt to alter the setting is punishable by company law. Your infraction has been noted in your permanent record. C. Higgins. Please see your supervisor to schedule a reprimand. Auto mechanicals in the facility have been mandated to remain in guard mode, and any attempt to alter the setting is punishable by company law. All right. There, now we won't have to worry about no pesky robots attacking us if any of them's hiding. Wish we could buy a freaking. There must be some way in that door, I just haven't figured it out yet. It's barred. I, I can't believe there's no way to just get in there. Like, man. Maybe that's the way? probably keep yeah it just goes down I doubt it that cannot be the actual way no it isn't still need one more freaking mag pick okay it did nothing it's just the terminal. No freaking map, man. There has to be some way to get another mag pick. I do not want to leave this planet until I have one more mag pick. It's literally all I freaking need to open that. See, I got, I got the, I meet the requirements. I just literally need one more freaking mag pick. It's like, dude, why is it so hard to find one? I don't just I don't understand. Why is it such a challenge? It doesn't make sense. Okay, bypass down pet bills. Oh baby. Come on, baby, give me a mag pick, baby. Come on. Where's the mag pick? I know you got one. Come on, quit being greedy, game. Come on. Sing for my baby, sing.
Yeah, guys, I'm honestly confused. Oh, baby. Wait a minute. Okay, we got the key card. I think that may be all we actually even need. I cannot believe I didn't see that for that long. That is honestly a little bit ridiculous. There we go. We got it. Let me in. There we go. We got it. Okay, corrupted logic module. What do we got to do now? Return to Ludwig. There we go, baby. Oh, got security blade, armor parts, energy cell. Anything else of yours? I don't believe, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nothing else. Alright, come on, Pavardi, let's get it. Let's rock and roll, girl. We're gonna save the mag picks for other times. Cause I feel like 35 is kind of like gonna be like the medium for the next planet. I'm thinking. Cause 35 is pretty high for the first level. For a required lockpick skill. I mean, it'd be nice if this game was like Oblivion and every single lock had a key that you could get. You know, that'd be nice. But I don't, I don't really, I couldn't really tell you if that's the actual case or not. Let's go to map. Let's go back to old Nutty Ludwig. Nutty Luddy is rather nutty. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Did I get the company slogan correct? I don't know. Let's see, let's go speak to Ludwig. Alright, Ludwig, say it. Lit up like this before. You mentioned the lo logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Thank you, sir. 500 gold, and we got a, 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 a melee weapon. Let's go ahead and see what kind of damage that weapon does. Let's see. What's it at? Security blade? No. Shock stick, baby. Looks pretty. Okay, 53. What's that doing? 58. It's level 5 too, man. Yeah, it's, this is a little bit slower to swing, though. That's one-handed. I don't know if that means I could carry something else as well. I'm not really sure. But I know one-handed means it, it's, it basically swings a lot faster. Let's go ahead and swap this with this. Swap this with... Uh, See how do we swap that? Let's go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Is that? No, it's in good condition. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. What do we do? Options. How in the frick do you swap it, man? Come on now. Uh, 
Okay. I think I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, because you can't swap the one that you're holding. Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy. Swap him out for... Oh, never mind. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out, man. There we go. Alright, so we got our bolter pistol, our spacious choice revolver, we've got our plasma rifle, and we got our shock stick. Now we're gonna go ahead and see how fast this shock stick actually hits. Let's go ahead and hear the, uh, let's go ahead and read, let's see. Inventory. Press the area of effect. Let's see, noise range, five meters. Noise range, eight meters. Alright, so this one's quieter as well. I'm kind of annoyed because it's already level five. But we can still upgrade a little bit. This is level two, and it's literally just way more damage. It literally destroys it in damage, but it is shock damage. So I, I, I still would have to say that the toss ball is still a, a viable weapon to keep around. Security blade. Let's go ahead and noise range six meters. I think it's two-handed indeed. Okay, this this is another upgrade. I like the stagger. This has the stun, same thing as stagger. I just don't think this could get the damage to, you know, really be effective in stealth. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go back to my uh my plane. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some weapons. You know, get some things up to snuff, break down some stuff I don't need. And once I get that done, I'll catch you guys on the flip side and we'll be ready to leave this planet.
right, as you can see, we got our weapons up to snuff. Let's go ahead and check our armor now. Let's go to armor. Let's see. We have gotten a level, okay, nine. Let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and check out Provardi. See, she's got level 7. She has no helmet. So we'll go ahead and throw her the better one. Let's see. One handed melee. She has a two handed melee weapon, so that's not very useful. But I'll give her more armor. There we go. We got her up to snuff. Let's go ahead and quick save real quick. There we go. I do believe we are now 100% ready to move on to the next planet. It is time to ascend. Welcome back, Captain. All systems are now operating within acceptable parameters. Shall I take our ship into orbit? Let us go. It is time to ascend. from Dr. Phineas Wells. Great, let us speak. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Let's go ahead and get to the point, Phineas. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. What is a nav key and why do I need it? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. All right, go to the don't Wild fly West. Their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and speak to this black marketeer. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. All right, let's get it. Excellent. Let's get it. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. 
You want me to wear a cape like a superhero? Wrong matter of Shroud, my slow-witted accomplice. This is, uh, how to put it simply, uh, a device that makes you look different, sound different, <clears throat> briefly. The device has its limits, but it will allow you to blend in perfectly, and probably won't jeopardize your ability to have children. Will it? No, definitely not. Probably, yes. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. What about the limitations, Phineas? Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. I'll put it to good use, Phineas. Thank you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Message from Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the Information Broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You sound like you've been there, Phineas. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? A hotbed of political activity. Let's get it. I certainly wouldn't call it boring, especially if your idea of fun involves navigating a hostile biosphere populated by carnivorous monsters. 
You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. All right, Venus, I am off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aether Wave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night, this fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in a grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very zealous in origin. All right. Let's get off this uh, ship and let's get into business. Stay safe out there. Let's go ahead and uh, save. Just in case it gets a bit too dangerous. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, let's go ahead and have them both go with us. We are heading into Monarch to see what this land has to offer. on Monarch. Let's we'll see what this planet has to offer. Very dangerous. Okay, okay. Sounds like a part's A to me. Now this is a wild wasteland. Danger and adventure surely await us. There's an awful lot of wrestling and growling out there, Captain. Let's go ahead and sell all junk. There we go. Let's go ahead and see what they've got to buy. Okay, some melee weapons. Already got that. Let's see, okay, they, I think they have. Okay, they're they're uh, they have a little bit different stuff. See, we got enough for any of this. Mm. Oh, we got a thousand bits. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get some stuff. Uh, we don't really need that. We could use that. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's go ahead and get. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. Let's get, okay, we're going to get our good armor for uh, me and Favardi. Let's see, let's go ahead and go to our followers. Let's see, she needs her good armor. Where is her upgrade? We're going to leave the, uh, the science to that man. We're going to give her... Give her that. And we'll throw her. Let her keep that. Let's see, Vicar is going to be rocking. 
Okay, that's actually better. We'll go ahead and give them that. And we'll go back to me. And I will be rocking. Alright, that sounds good. We're ready to go. Vardy has her new armor. Bikar has the same old priesthood ship going on. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and get into this gameplay. See who we must carry. Let us go, y'all. Let us go. Man, we got some enemies already coming. Here they come. Dead. What else must we carry? We will kill it all. Understood. I will keep my head down. Let's go ahead and kill everything we see. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, man, that's my first death. My very first death. Was not seeing that coming. Let's see, let's go, go back to our save. Was not seeing that coming, y'all. Honestly, that, that freaking thing hit like a truck. We're going to have some serious problems up in here. Alright, let's go get our rifle out off top. I'm going to need my, my crew to really, you know, really be fighting hard. Let's see if we can throw a big car or something more powerful. Okay, he's got a 100% shotgun. We'll go ahead and give him the grenade. And we'll give him the, let's see, 76. Okay, that's better anyways. Yeah, he needs that grenade launcher. We're not going to have the chance. Oh, these little buggers are nothing. Let's go get the sneak shot on these guys. Okay, we got a, a bronze trophy. Okay, these guys are freaking messing me up, man. Heck that did. Let's go heal up one more time. Oh, you guys are up now, huh? Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we're getting freaking eaten up by this stuff, man. I'm hoping I didn't do uh, damage to my armor. That's gonna suck. Let's see. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, we're good. We can take these guys, it's doable. Take that, take all that. This may be a bit above my uh, skill level for my character, but I feel like I can still grind it out. The way them, uh, you know, them dinosaurs weren't being very aggressive, I feel like it's still very doable. Oh yes, take all that, baby. Ooh, plasma rifle. 
Don't mind if I can grab it. Let's see if we got anything down here. Okay, I don't even know what that's from. I'll take it. Suffers for me, man. Got a spread. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I'll take it over and I'll get back to you. I think we have a more serious matter at hand, Picard. Yeah, the dinosaurs just like straight up disappeared. Let's go ahead and quick save yet again. Get back into it, y'all. Let's see what we have in here. Seeming like there's a lot of valuable things around here. Okay, we got a mag pick. Bits, bits. Some ammo. Nothing. Ammo, some food. Some Stogie Slims, eh? Sounds like some outlaw smokes. Let's go ahead and check all these dead people. Anything valuable? Nothing. Sealed. Some animals in here. Got down. Looks like the uh, stealth hit does do some damage. Okay, Vivardi's getting whooped, man. She's getting her bones kicked in. Okay, we got him. Where in the world did they go? Man? There you two are. Let's go check this facility for anything of value. Still haven't even made it to the saloon. Let's see, you take the mag picks. <coughs> Got some more ammo. Got a workbench we're not gonna use. It's gonna continue heading forward. Let's go quick save yet again. Hello, hello, y'all. Let's get into it. That's pretty dangerous buggers. Oh, come on, baby. See, that's why I keep quick saving, because this is, uh, it may be on the easier difficulty, but it's not very easy. Let's go ahead and get on to that. Let's try this yet again. These guys are a serious challenge now. Challenging. Indeed, indeed. It's too bad I ain't got like a regular gun. Because I don't think, you know, Shock's doing too well damage on these guys. Let's see if I got another option. Yeah, I got the Bolter. Let's see. There we go, Revolver. Oh man. Man, these freaking dinosaurs are hitting hard, man. Hit me like a freaking truck, yo. I 
I think I might just have to sneak to the uh, bar and just get some help from that guy. May not have any other choice, because these these uh, creatures are seriously some, uh, you know, they're proven to be a bit of a challenge. Let's see, we got anything that has regular bullets? Okay, that could be useful. Let's see what that does. Oh, we got 249 bullets, baby. Let's just go ahead and see if that does any work to him. Does any damage. Literally hardly even hurting it at all. Yeah, well that's screwed. Yeah, these guys are too too over leveled. We're gonna have to sneak around them. It's gonna be our only only choice. It's the only option we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and sneak around him and get to the uh, guide. Easy does it. Must have looked mighty grand when it was built. I would have liked to see this place before it was all boarded up. I bet it lit up the night. This should be fun, and dangerous. have to say that this is simply the wrong planet. I literally cannot mess with these creatures. They're simply too powerful. So I'm going to have to do something else before I do this part. I literally can't even make it to the saloon. This must be, I must be going to the wrong place. Quietly now. Let's go ahead and confirm it though. Check our map. Let's see, is there any way to fast travel there? No, there isn't. Maybe that away? I doubt it. We would literally get destroyed. I think this is just a part that I want to do at a later time. Yeah, they'll attack me as soon as they see me. Yep, bit too above my pay grade, I guess. Bit too powerful. Let me back on the ship. These things are gonna carry me.
Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Thank you. All right, let's see what this asteroid has to offer. Good old Scylla. <laughs> the car is ready. Real space, isn't it? Empty, silent. I thought I'd see the light. I look up at night, but... You can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe on a loose rock here. Let's see, where are we going? Let's go ahead and go to our journal. Can we go? <laughs> Let's get down here. Hello, my companion. See if we can mess with these enemies. What Guess that's an enemy. Is he down? Yeah, we can mess with these guys. Alright, we got this. We got this area. Go get some space goo. Explains how we ain't dead. 
dead. The amount of pylons in the O2, this thing's cracking full of noise. They just got some kind of mining facility going on. You can only move forwards or backwards as a society, and I, for one, fully support our progressive efforts. Let's go see what this moon has to offer. Is that enemies? Got him, boy. What do you got? What do you got? Can't get that. Let's go ahead and throw some better armor on us. See what we have on this asteroid. Looks like we have more en enemies. Get your bludgeoning objects ready. Take down a freighter this big. We've got a fight on our hands. Ooh, baby, one hit is down. <laughs> Yeah, looks like this game's gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'm fine with that. That's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it a stream for now. We're gonna go ahead and end it on this asteroid. And we're gonna go, when I get back on the stream later on, we're gonna explore this asteroid a little bit better and just see what is really going on with it. All right. I'm gonna try to have a good rest of my day, and I hope you guys do the same. Peace out.